As magical creatures, horses have always been a welcome part of our lives, both in the movies and reality. These majestic creatures not only symbolize beauty and majesty, they sure have the looks of royalty. Have you ever wondered what it's like to own one of these magnificent creatures? Does owning them mean only pleasure and thrills? Today on the channel, we're taking you on a ride into the world of this magnificent creature that has become one of the best animals friends of humans. Before we get into it, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. There are individual differences with every living thing covering the beautiful side of things and the not so beautiful but necessary aspects of life. This sure plays out in the experience of owning a horse. So, before you think of getting one of these beauties, you should consider some things. For starters, you should be willing to invest time into your horse and some good old-fashioned emotion and care and, of course, some money. Yes, horses are expensive to maintain. Many horses lovers will attest that nothing in the world can replace the experience of owning a horse. It is packed with activity and fun. Going on a trail ride with your equine companion is sure to relieve stress and put you in a meditative mood. The physical workout routines with your horse are certain to be fun and healthy for your mind and body. Horses provide companionship, partnership, and relationship that is quite helpful to both horse and owner. You sure will learn so many proper life lessons when you take the time to learn to handle and care for a horse. You get to incorporate routine and structure into your life as these are needed traits in taking care of horses. Not forgetting the community and social opportunities that come with hanging out with other horse lovers, either for a social time or during competitions. You get to share ideas, experiences, as well as lessons that go well to make life fun. Some of such social hangouts could be for classes, trail riding clubs and groups, local, regional, and even international shows and competitions, and a host of others. So owning a horse will give you physical fitness, mental well-being, social relationships. You you will learn responsibility, planning, and care. You will surely learn good sportsmanship, especially if you're looking at going into competitions. This is undoubtedly a life to look forward to, right? So, you have decided to go for a horse. Let's look at some of the experiences. You may want to choose a breed that suits you and your lifestyle. Choosing the right breed can boil down to lifestyle and experience, in which case, you're looking at selecting a quiet and intelligent breed, especially as a beginner. These Breeds should be smart enough to learn tricks and commands quickly. Friendliness and patience should be on top of your list for breeds based on lifestyle and experience. You will also be on the lookout for a horse that has gotten nothing less than a year's professional training and should not be less than five years old. Cool, intelligent, and beginner-friendly horse breeds include the American Quarter Horse, Morgan, the Tennessee Walking Horse, and others. Young riders should begin with a pony like the Shetland Pony, Welsh Pony, and others. For those looking at trail walking, you'll need a balanced, all-round breed that can walk on rough or lengthy trails. These horses should be strong, with endurance, stamina, and big enough to keep their balance. The Missouri Foxtrotter, the American Quarter Horse, and others are good horses for trail riding. If your needs are for farm and heavy work, you need draft horses like the Clydesdale, Shire Horse, and the Belgian Draft. You have these three areas to choose from in your choice of a horse based on temperaments. You have the cold-blooded, which refers to their nature, not the blood that runs in their veins. These are pretty gentle, low-energy breeds. The Icelandic Horse, Cold-Blooded Trotter, and Percheron and others fall into this category. The warm-blooded guys come from a crossbreed between cold-blooded and the hot-blooded steeds, so they're midway. These include the Appaloosa, Mustang, the Frisian Horse, and others. The hot-blooded guys are hot-blooded. They're also energetic with a lot of personality. They're more for high-energy sports and speed racing. Their high-energy nature makes them a more difficult breed to handle and is not for new riders. The Hot Blood is the Arabian, the Thoroughbred, Morgan, and others. A whole selection of ideas is there to consider if you want to choose based on riding styles. Here you're looking at breeds for western or cowboy riding, English riding, pleasure, fast race riding, endurance riding, show jumping, and vault riding. 
The equine world is a vast one. Owning a horse will demand that you have daily, weekly, monthly, and even annual considerations. You solely have to look after it, ensuring the horse is both happy and healthy. Their health and happiness will sure have an impact on yours. Should you have other commitments, you will need to employ help or solicit friends to help out. Still, they must be people who are familiar with horses. Another option is to select full care boarding services to take care of your horse in your absence. As a part of your routine of the day, you'll do all you can to ensure the horse stall is clean. A clean stall prevents horse hoof problems like thrush and others. Horses can't stay confined to a stall for too long, so daily walks and exercise will do them a lot of good. Most importantly, daily healthy food and clean water are a priority. The horse's hooves should be checked to ensure it stays in good condition. Just a general, daily, all-round observation of your equine friend is necessary. You also want to ensure that no injuries or signs of problems may escape your notice. Now you want to look at your weekly to-do list as regards your horse and ensure everything checks. First, you would need to do a more thorough cleaning of the horse feed containers and the water container. You will also need to remove manure from the land if they have a large larger piece of real estate to themselves. You will need to go around the property where they stay, ensure there's no damage to fences, or if anything that has the potential to cause harm is there, you want to know ASAP and respond accordingly. Yes, a weekly audit of your food supply might be necessary so you're not running short. Have at least a two-week ready supply always available. Once a week bath of your horse is also a great idea. If you're having your horse at a boarding facility, then your monthly fees are part of what you have to pay close attention to. A thorough once-a-month check of horse tack is also recommended to avoid damages and surprises. Aside from these regular routines, every horse owner should plan to trim their horse's feet. This can be done any time from 5 to 8 weeks. That will also mean replacing the horseshoes if they have them. Every 2 to 3 months, we'll need to see your equine dewormed. Annual routines for horses include teeth floating, although that could be done more often depending on each horse. Some vaccines will need to be taken every year. Some are taken biannually to ensure your horse's health. A yearly general examination by a vet is recommended. This can also be more frequent based on the vet's advice. Some of the financial expenses you're likely to incur when you own a horse will come from the fees for training, costs to attend shows and events. Suppose you're paying for boarding facilities, depending on the type. In that case, your budget should hit hundreds to even thousands of dollars. Feed for your horse, farrier who takes care of the horse's feet. You will also spend to buy, maintain, and replace tack and the various equipment needed to saddle and ride your horse. This equipment includes a lunge whip, lead rope, and halters, among other things. The obvious ones are water buckets and troughs. Bucket with heating capabilities comes in handy in cold regions. For feeding your horse with supplements and grains, you'll need a feed pan. A hoof pick will take care of the hoof maintenance, while horse brushes will help keep your horse coat sparkling clean and healthy. An excellent first aid kit is sure to come in handy should the need arise. Some requirements will be standard, while others will be peculiar to you and your horse. Whatever the market, you'll get to know as you grow your horse. It would be wise also to be a trained professional if you desire to own a horse. Proper research into your responsibilities would be physically, financially, and in terms of time commitment should be adequately looked into. New horse owners should go for older and experienced horses. Their temperaments are calmer and more beginner friendly. So that's all about what it's like owning a horse. We hope you enjoyed the ride. What are your thoughts on owning a horse? Let us know in the comments section. If you enjoyed watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications so you can be the first to know when we post a new pet video. Also, check out our playlist and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.